Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. This is St. Thomas Aquinas' Summa Theologica. We're in part 1, question 2, article 3, on whether God exists or not. So, we learned that God is the first mover. Now, Aquinas is going to say God is the first efficient cause. So, let's begin. The second way is from the nature of the efficient cause. In the world of sense, we find there is an order of efficient causes. So in the world of sense, there is efficient causes. There is no case known, neither is it indeed possible, in which a thing is found to be the efficient cause of itself. So notice this, nothing can be the efficient cause of itself. For it would be prior to itself. <laughs> See that? So, how can it be the efficient cause of itself? Because that would logically then say it had to be prior to itself. You see, that's brilliant. Which is impossible. Now, in efficient causes, it is not possible to go on to infinity. Because in all efficient causes, following an order, the first is the cause of the intermediate cause. Okay, so... Not possible to go on to infinity, and the first cause is the intermediate cause. And the intermediate is the cause of the ultimate cause. So you see the chain? So the efficient cause causes the intermediate, the intermediate then causes the ultimate. It's a chain of reactions here, a chain of motion, a chain of circumstance, a chain of cause, and such. Whether the intermediate cause be several or one only. Now, take away the cause is to take away the effect. Very astute, right? If you take away the cause, you take away the effect. You can't have the effect without the cause. Therefore, if there be no first cause among efficient causes, there will be no ultimate. So, perfect. I have to agree with that, right? The first cause is going to lead to the intermediate and the intermediate leads to the ultimate and without that there isn't going without the first cause there is no efficient cause but if in efficient causes it is possible to go on to infinity there will be no first efficient cause neither will there be an ultimate effect nor any intermediate efficient causes all of which is plainly false therefore it is necessary to admit a first efficient cause to which everyone gives the name of god so the necessary first efficient cause. Perfect. Because that sets it off. That is what will lead to everything unfolding. Regardless of how we perceive the world through our senses, there's still these efficient causes and intermediate causes and ultimate effects that will exist beyond our perception, but they're still there. So very powerful because previously... He mentioned everything is put into motion by another, and God is the first cause. And those causes have effects. So if you have the first mover putting everything into motion, this is going to be the efficient cause of the first motion. The first motion leading to the intermediate cause and the ultimate effect and ultimate cause. So you see, it's very, very smart. So more potent and exact, but... Brilliant nonetheless. So remember, this is Aquinas giving us examples on whether God exists and what type of evidence there is for it. So, brilliant.